welcome to my channel watch Natalie spelled N-A-T-A-L-E-E -E. for those of you returning welcome back this is a strange video I've never done this before it's not really supposed to be like this but here we are we have one video for Taurus Leo Virgo and Libra for this week I'm filming this on the Mars square Neptune day transit so yeah it's not happening today. I had rushes come in. I have to finish reading a script. I have a meeting tomorrow. Yeah, so I'm very sorry. There will be no extendeds for these signs. There will be barely a video going up. We're going to do it in sequence. We're going to timestamp it down below and we're just going to get the down and dirty. That's what I'm going to call it. It's going to be the down and dirty. So whenever you see down and dirty in my titles, Maybe I won't say that because of YouTube, but it's going to be the down and dirty reading. Okay, so let's start with Taurus. I'm sorry, Taurus is late. Okay, Taurus, what's the week? And just so you know, I'm going to be taking off the dates for the weeklies beginning next week. Oh, Taurus. Okay, there's two other cards that came out. It's the moon with the queen of wands. So here we go, Taurus. For this week ahead for you, you can expect to really take charge in a situation where you were confused about someone who's very sex who you're very sexually attracted to. Okay. Okay. This is kind of funny. So this person's sexual attractiveness is sort of what like blinded you. You were like And like I get it. That happens to you people. But this is a week where you're kind of like the ma you're the magician. This other person is the sexy one. And I feel like you're going to try to do what you're going to try to do. This other person, they are either casting this glow or they're using their intuition or you're using your intuition about them. But either way, I feel like there's clarity coming to the surface here. There's going to be clarity around something between you and this person. So let me just get one more energy for Taurus let's see how it ends yeah I'm taking the top of the stack Ooh, and there is a judgment beneath that so there could be like the ultimate decision where you like kind of finally decide one way or another what you think about this person and it's going to be romantic you're going to go with how you feel about this and it could even be that it's in the reverse like the sexual attractiveness of this person was kind of influencing your emotion like I can't trust this person they're too good looking something weird like that but either way, by the end of it, you're going to have a conclusion that you're going to feel very happy about and very comfortable with. And like I said, it's because you're in this position of like, I'm not, I'm not here to mess around. Like, I'm going to trust you or I'm not going to trust you. I'm not going to sit here and not know. Okay. So these are all going back in evenly distributed. So you guys know there is no double. See? Boom. Okay. Taurus is done and then now we are moving into Leo's energy yeah I'm not spending too long on these guys I'm just doing the down and dirty just getting like the down and dirty if you need more information I would say let the week play itself out and see how the situation goes before booking a personal reading okay okay Leo what do we have for Leo's this week please look at that the and then beneath that, we have the sun. Perfect energy for you, Leos. Very, very beautiful. So we have here an approach. We have an offer. You're going to feel really good this week. There's something coming in for you, Leos, that's really heartwarming. And it could be news about how someone feels about you. So you're having a great week. This is off to a good start. Let's get the next energy for Leos. Sun, moon, rising. Yeah, and I feel like it's going to be what someone tells you. That you are the perfect partner, you're the perfect person, you're the perfect match. And then we also have the Ten of Cups and the world here. These kind of all came out together, kind of spaced apart really interestingly on the desk here. But it's like, you are my person. You might even be the one doing this, Leo. This could be you offering your cup of love to someone. It could be you telling someone how you really feel about them. This could also be happening around you, someone that you're connecting to, that I'm connecting to through you, okay? But this is really like coming full circle with this world energy there. You're, you're coming back to um, a really important lesson that you were trying to learn, that your soul was trying to learn, okay? And it's going to make you really happy. It's it's like you get the yes. There's a lot of yes in that, in that little mini spread there. 
Okay, no, there's a cat right over there. Speaking of Leos, cards going back. So that's a good week for you, Leos. My goodness. Okay, Virgs. Virgos are up next. What do we have for this week for Virgos? Sun, Moon, Rising. The Knight of Swords, and there's another card here. What is it? It is the Seven of Staves. Wow, Virgo. This week, you're going to have a very strong, stark, bold, it's almost like it hits you on the side of the head. It's like a rude awakening, and it's about where you need a boundary. It's like the Seven of Staves, it's like back off, back off, back off. You could be telling someone, back it up, back off. I, or you could have a realization about some situation or a person in your life right now. There's something where it's like, I need to, I need to advocate for myself. This has gone too far. This has gone on too long. Whatever the, whatever is going on though, you're ready to advocate for your own needs here. The seven of saves is this energy of, it's like before you commit to a person, you write out a list of like everything that you can give and what you need in the partnership they write out their list you guys slide it across the table and it's like these are my non-negotiables this is what i need this is what i need okay so this is either you doing this virgo where you kind of rudely awaken someone else to what you need okay or this realization comes to you about one of your needs where you need to be more vocal and advocate for yourself okay or there could a situation could come in where you are forced to sort of say, whoa, let's put the brakes on this or let's make an adjustment here. Okay. What's the next energy for Virgos? Sun, moon, rising. Oh, whoa. You know exactly. You know exactly what it is too. You know exactly what I'm talking about, first of all. But you also know deep down that you have to do this. You, you know, it's like you know conflict five of saves you you already know you already know the answer it's like you know what they're gonna do what you're gonna do here we go the king of wands and the star so you already know how this is gonna go it's almost like you know you've been waiting for this to happen you've been waiting for the trigger that someone's gonna do or say something to trigger you into advocating for yourself and putting up a boundary. But then you also know that once you do that, that they're gonna receive your information, they're gonna receive your request and then appease you. Then it's like, this is someone with this King of Wands energy, um, Aries Sagittarius Leo. This is someone who you can see them bumbling around a little bit and being a little bit, not obnoxious, but it's like they don't, they're not aware of themselves. You can tell that this is a person who might say something off the cuff. Maybe they say something a little bit misogynistic or borderline. You know, like they could, they could, the way, you, but you can see that they don't know that they do this. So it's like you've been waiting for it. You've been waiting for the day where they come in to the office or this family member or who, whatever, whoever this is. You're waiting for the day that they trample on your boundaries and that's why it comes in so quick for you virgo it's like i knew this was coming because you say you just don't even think about what you're saying you do things without thinking you you're i'm just getting this energy moving through this person that it's like they really don't and you know that virgo so when they do trample on your boundaries when they say something messed up or do something inappropriate you're right there to snap them back into line and that actually is what they need to hear because this is someone where like no one tells them what they're doing. No one tells them, hey, you should be a little softer or we don't really use that phrase anymore or whatever it is. So they're actually going to be very happy that you do this because they don't actually want to hurt you. They don't mean any harm. They just they are just bumbling through life, like knocking shit over. No one just no one tells them They people just go and pick it up and put it back where it was without telling them, hey, stop waving your arms around, you know. So you're the one that's going to say, hey, stop waving your arms around. You just hit me in the face. And they're going to go, I'm so embarrassed. I'm so sorry. Why does my tongue look like that? Sorry. It's this matcha tea. It's this green tea. It turns my whole tongue green. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. That was so gross. Anyway, it's going to have healing within this, this connection between you two. So it's going to be for the better. 
it's gonna work out. So it's just like this little curve, little or a big kerfuffle for some of you Virgos. It's going to be a much needed adjustment though. So just don't be afraid to, to do that. Have full confidence. I am your, now I keep it. I bless you. Move forward and advocate for your boundaries. Okay, Leaves. Libra. What's going on this week for Leaves? What's good with the Librans this week? <sighs> this is kind of fun, you guys. Okay. Just as I was sighing, <sighs> who's daydreaming? Someone's, uh, I'm a writer, so I have ink everywhere. Sorry, guys. Someone's daydreaming. I saw the Nine of Cups. This is a wish fulfillment card. Someone's trying to make their wish come true, dreaming about their wish coming true. In Libra land. And it's just like that. It's just like, ah. Uh, you could have daydreams that are sort of butting up against your everyday responsibilities and you're kind of just escaping into the daydream here, Libra. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm totally into that energy. <gasps> See, for me as a reader, these guys come out in the same readings pretty frequently, and but they've never come up touching each other like this. The judgment and the temperance here. Wow. And it's with the seven of swords. Wow. For some of you, it's your wish for... It's your dream that um, you or this person, someone around you is, is getting like a huge healing where they're never going to be like a dirty lion bastard ever again or something where it's like, oh, please let him rehabilitate himself. It's like, please let her stop lying to me. Please, please. <laughs> this is so weird, Libra, but your wish is getting answered this week. This person is being balanced by the universe. There's two angels around this person. You were this person. It could even be you um, that you want to like fix a part of yourself. It's like a wish about yourself. And for if it's about you, Libra, this is a way of thinking. The Seven of Swords is like very foxy, very, very clever energy. So if this is you, if you have this wish about yourself this week, Libra, then you're going to come into a really beautiful energy of balance and peace and it's like I'm done thinking I'm done thinking kind of like this it's really you know it's so funny it's like you're using this energy differently where instead of idealizing and instead of imagining the best in other people and it's like that's the deception that you thought they were so great and then they come down off their pedestal and they disappoint you it's like instead of doing that you are healing the way you're thinking about people or about or when you're using that thinking you're thinking more strategically not strategically I take that back you're thinking more with like common sense it's a common sense type energy and you are you're going to be happy with yourself too because with the seven of cups and the nine of cups it's a lot of water energy it's a lot of emotionalizing the intellect and what we have in the Seven of Swords, reading it upright and full of integrity, this is a way of thinking where no one can put anything by you because it's almost like you're thinking from a con artist's perspective. And so you're, you're just being realistic and rational, but also a little bit strategic and clever, like very foxy, smart, you know, like real smart, smart, um, foxy smart. And so you're going to get that this week. If this is about someone around you, it's like you have this hope and wish for them. You want their wishes to come true. You want your wishes to come true. And it's like you know they're deceptive. And you can also identify in them how they can turn this energy around. And they actually do get help. There's, there, there's, it could be ancestors, angels, or both. I mean, I'm just drawn to the wings. Look at how the wings are actually... Like right next to each other, the blue and the red there. Like it's just really powerful with this other presence. They're major arcana energies and they're also just really big energies with these angelic wings. So it's spirit guides, it's ancestors, it's their own higher selves. It's their own higher, higher versions of themselves. It's like where they're ready to meet themselves. That's what I'm getting from this. Down here, they're ready to meet themselves. They're ready to confront themselves. They're ready to... 
you know, balance out themselves in terms of their integrity, standing in their own wisdom, standing in their own, you know, it's like they're going to be personally ready to put down the ways they were deceiving themselves and in effect deceiving you this week. Wow, you guys, that was fun. <laughs> That was so much fun. Thank you for joining me in the Down and Dirty Weekly Tarot Readings for Taurus, Leo, Virgo, and Libra. Feel free to comment below any suggestions. Um, I'm trying to rework my schedule again because when I get super burnt out in the weeklies, I yearn to do more personal readings. When I put the load in the personal readings, I really yearn to get back into the weeklies and check in with your energies sign by sign. So I might do two weeklies a day next week instead of three and then maybe try to do personal readings during, I don't know I have to work it out I'm very open and very open-minded very flexible so feel free to let me know what you think about all this or if you have any strong opinions one way or the other in the comments below um, and I will see you guys next week so again there are no extendeds this is just your weekly weekly message if you'd like a personal reading with me you can do so you can book me at the artigan.com slash shop and you can add yourself to the queue and make sure your questions are really, really special because it will be a wait, very likely a wait. If this is a pressing issue and you really need it now, I really recommend adding the rush. You'll get it within 24 hours and then it's like you get like right to the front, okay? So that's only for emergencies. I didn't pick up anything in these weeklies that tell us that these are emergencies. So I would wait the week out, see how you feel. And then we'll just kind of go from there. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Got a lot out of it. I love you forever and we will talk next week. Bye.